Most folk are of the opinion that zombies are nothing but imaginary creatures dreamt up by director George A. Romero, but some people think a very real The Walking Dead-style scenario is imminent, and they have been preparing for when excrement hits the room cooling device, some of them even going to extraordinary lengths to keep their home safe when the dead rises. These are zombie-proof houses you'll not regret seeing. Number 15. Safe House in Poland Transforms Into a Fortress To call your very expensive home the world's first zombie-proof house feels like tempting fate a little bit. But one Polish architect seems to be pretty confident in his creation. That architect, Robert Konieczny likely does have a lot of time on his hands, but it's a beautiful home, at least. Konieczny's house is actually a pretty ingenious house designed for much more than just a zombie apocalypse. Built on the outskirts of Warsaw, the house is basically designed for any kind of apocalyptic scenario, from the zombie apocalypse to post-climate change, unpleasantness, and even nuclear war. The house effectively transforms itself from a pretty villa into a complete fortress, with moving concrete walls and roll-down metal shutters that can shut out windows and doors entirely. And, as if that's not enough for you to be encased in such airtight lockdown protocols, the house also has a concrete wall outside. Fair to say you won't be getting many door-to-door -door salesmen. While the house is definitely safe and would probably protect you from zombies, for a short while at least, it doesn't look particularly fun. And nobody has really answered the two questions that plague all billionaire bunkers. What happens when you run out of food and do you really want to be the last one alive after a zombie apocalypse. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or Slenderman will come from under your bed when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the juicy topic. Designed and constructed by billionaire and conspiracy theorist, Tony Zanzu, this remarkable structure has been prepped by Zanzu in the case of a zombie uprising. Convinced the rising of the dead is coming, this house was designed so that he and his family could safely get away from land. To be fair to Zanzu, he is not totally crazy. The house wasn't just built in case of a zombie uprising, it has also been designed to be the perfect hiding place in case of other, more realistic, apocalyptic scenarios, such as extreme flooding. Looks like quite a nice place to hide from society, to be fair. And there's a sea view from every window. Remember to comment down below with the hashtag JuicyTopic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. And now, to the next topic. Number 14. Konieczny's Ark House the problem with most houses nowadays is that they're just not secure. And why aren't they secure? Simple. They don't have a drawbridge. I've been saying it for years. A drawbridge is the only way to defend yourself against the outside world. Just don't let any Trojan horses in, obviously. Architect Robert Konieczny, the winner of the 2016 World Building of the Year Award, came up with a pretty ingenious design for a home in southern Poland that his family could live in. The house was designed to take advantage of the beautiful scenery that can be found in the Polish wilderness. But Konieczny quickly recognized a problem. Building a house on an isolated plot of land is something of a security risk. That's where the drawbridge and the sliding wall comes in. When these two security measures are implemented, the home is impenetrable. It's one big safe room. Not a bad idea, really. Of course, some people will be dubious about the house, believing it to be somewhat ugly or pointless. But if you think that, you've clearly never seen a zombie movie. These guys are going to survive for at least a day longer than the rest of us. Number 13, Bjork's House. Any of you even vaguely familiar with Bjork knows that this is going to get weird. This is a woman that dressed as a swan to the Oscars and whose music can only be defined as unusual. So to hear that she leaped at the chance to live in an isolated tiny house on a remote island is unsurprising, to say the least. 
I don't think there's anything more on brand for Bjork. However, the Bjork rumor is generally unconfirmed, so we don't actually know if she does or has ever lived on the island. But here's what we do know. Elae is a tiny island located just off the southern coast of Iceland and is home to one small, isolated house on the side of a green hill. That's everything we know. So yeah, not a lot. But legend says that the home was initially built by an eccentric billionaire who suspected a zombie apocalypse was imminent and wanted a reliable place to escape in the instance of a potential outbreak. Is that story true? We don't know, but it's as good a place to hide as any. In actuality, the house on the island is lacking in electricity, running water, and plumbing. So it's not a great place to hide out. But if warmth and basic hygiene aren't important to you, it's as good a place as any. Number 12. Dunbar Rock If you really were planning to wait out some kind of nightmarish zombie apocalypse, I'm not sure I could imagine a more beautiful place to do so than Dunbar Rock, a villa located in Honduras. Honestly, I think any of us would wait out the rest of our lives there if we could afford it. Dunbar Rock is a four-story villa off the coast of Guanaja, and it is beautiful. Not only do you get the advantage of not being eaten, but you also get a pool and multiple houses, a massage room where you can just lay for a while. Obviously, you don't want any other people there. And. As for the age-old question of what happens when the food runs out, well, the island has a great deal of fish living in the water around the villa, meaning that a talented hunter will never go hungry. However, untalented hunters? Sorry. Thanks to the fact that it's quite literally isolated from the mainland, this villa is just about the safest place you can go to wait out the undead. Although there's no way to know if the undead will truly die, better get some hunting practice then. Number 11. Adirondack Missile Silo House For one reason or another, it seems some people in the world would love nothing more than to live in an old Cold War nuclear missile silo. We're obviously not here to judge, but… well, it is an unusual life dream to have, right? At one point in time, this pretty looking home was actually the control center of an Atlas nuclear missile silo. And once housed, defense workers waiting for the call to initiate what would no doubt have been a devastating intercontinental ballistic missile strike. And now, it's just a wholesome, private little home in Adirondack State Park with a 3,900 square foot subterranean complex buried deep beneath it. Wait, what? Yes, if you're genuinely concerned about an impending zombie apocalypse, having a hidden 1950s nuclear complex of corridors will surely put your anxious mind at rest. Or maybe it'll freak you out more. We should say that the house doesn't actually have any nuclear missiles inside it now, though much of the original Cold War equipment can can still be found in the home. So probably not a good house for cocktail parties. Three drinks of the brown stuff and Phil's accidentally nuked half of Europe. Number 9. Monsal Army Forts these army forts may well look like remnants from some old episode of Doctor Who, or some kind of cheap British Star Wars ripoff, but they're actually one of the best places to hide in the event of the apocalypse. Assuming, of course, that you don't have a problem with living in a rusty box in the Thames. These anti-aircraft tower forts were constructed in 1942 and once formed a complex defense network that would protect the coast of Kent and, by extension, the rest of the country from potential German attack. At one point in time, these separate forts were connected by catwalks, although it's clear to see that those days have long passed. To use a catwalk on these forts now would be like trying to cross a tightrope. The fortresses were decommissioned in the 1950s and only three of the original five are left standing. Back when they were in action, these forts would have been the ideal location to hide out from some kind of mainland apocalypse. Now, they're still pretty zombie proof. But, well, you might end up in the water at some point. They're not very stable. Number 8. The Underground Hideout 
what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Unless what happens in Vegas is so unbelievably cool that it ends up in a local paper or national newspaper. Barbecue. Then it's just common knowledge. And in the case of this house, it's very cool. It's hobbit cool. Much like J.R.R. Tolkien's hobbits, some people want to live in a hole in the ground. And for Gerard Jerry B. Henderson, that dream became a reality. In 1978, Henderson suspected that the end of the world was just around the corner, and he decided to build a house that would shield him from the impending fallout. Because I guess if a nuclear bomb hits Vegas, the casinos will still be open. I don't really understand either. Anyway, Henderson built a two-bedroom underground house, complete with guest house, caretaker's house, a four-car garage, and over an acre of surface property. That's a secure little rabbit hole. The house was later put on the market for $1.7 million, presumably because Henderson assumed the world had regained some semblance of long-term peace. Man, I bet he's looking pretty silly about now, eh? Number 7. Vivos X Point It seems the life cycle for an army base is pretty consistent. They get used for operations until they're decommissioned and abandoned. Then they get reopened and sold as shelters for people with too much money who seem to think a post-apocalypse world will be perfectly fine. Your average life cycle then. The Vivos X Point is basically a kind of RV park for military bunkers. Located in South Dakota, this huge base was once used to store bombs and ammunition between 1942 and 1967. But when the army sold the land to the city of Edgemont, it became home to a whole lot of farmers. Ever since, the bunkers have been out of use until now. A company called Vivos decided to turn this 575 military-built concrete and steel bunkers into shelters for anybody with money that is terrified of dying alongside the common man. Or, in the case of a zombie apocalypse, because of the common man. The X Point is 18 square miles in total, around three quarters the size of Manhattan, but it's an incredibly secure place to be. If you don't want to get bitten by a zombie. Or, I should say, if you want to delay getting bitten by a zombie. Number 6. The Svalbard Seed Vault Finally, we get to answer a very important question. The flaw in all apocalypse shelters is, how do you get food when your supplies run out? Well, if you're hiding out in Svalbard Seed Vault, that isn't a question you ever have to ask. The Svalbard Seed Vault contains what is probably Earth's most valuable resource, seeds. Hidden away in this big metal vault, 150 meters below the surface of Norway, lies over 13,000 of architectural history, with seeds for 930,000 varieties of edible crops. It's basically one big insurance policy on food. Should humans truly create the devastating apocalypse we've all been expecting since the 1900s or, more likely, should the climate get so out of control that our crops begin to die? It's almost one of the most secure facilities in the world, given its utterly inhospitable environment. Fair to say that very few zombies would make it far in the Norwegian wilderness. Of all the potential hideouts in the world, the Svalbard Seed Vault is no doubt one of the best. It's hard to find a more secure location in the world than a vault built into a mountain in an overwhelmingly cold area. Of course, you do have the challenge of, you know, getting into the vault. Good luck with that one. Number 5. The Earth Integrated Igloo it's kind of an understatement, but the Lishmans are an intriguing couple. Before you even get to their house, you are met by their driveway, which is littered with pop art wind chimes, a huge glass sphere hanging from a tree, and several sculptures of pigs. And that's before we get into the house. Unlike most modern humans, knit fur designer Paula and her sculptor-slash-inventor husband Bill have decided to make their home underground, in a unique house built into a hill in Canada. Inspired by British artist Roger Dean, Bill concocted the idea to build an underground home made up of interconnected igloo-styled domes. Altogether, the house contains eight igloo pods, which make up around 2,600 square feet in total. Thanks to their underground design, 
the house remains at a consistent heat, with in-floor heating and no outside heating costs. And if you're concerned about your lack of vitamin D, each pod has a skylight, so you'll get some light even if you stay in your pod all day. While there admittedly have been no known zombie breakouts on our planet, there's almost no chance of zombies penetrating the security of a multipod underground home. This is about the most secure place in Canada, if you forget about all the government buildings. Number 4. Shirvasuti Refuge We should clear up all the things that this is not before we get into what it is. It is not a train, a spaceship, a futuristic telescope, a fallen space station, an air conditioner, a vacuum cleaner, or a puppet. It is, however, a shelter. It would have been great if it was any of the other things, though. The Gervasuti Refuge is actually a temporary shelter designed for mountain climbers who somehow manage to brave the 9,300-foot summit of Italy's Mount Blanc and need refuge from the uncontrollable elements. Made from high-quality, sustainable materials, the shelter actually has to be moved by helicopters, meaning this home is fully portable. But, you know, that's probably not going to be too helpful during a zombie apocalypse. I imagine most of those helicopters will be busy with more important things like putting out flames from the many, many riots outside of Krispy Kreme. Thanks to the solar panels on the roof, this is a fully self-sustaining rest stop and would definitely make for a promising option amidst some kind of global apocalypse. Assuming, of course, that you both made it up the mountain and have some helicopters to relocate it. But we all have a few helicopters spare, right? Number 3. Quadrant House This one will really depend on your definition of zombie-proof. But it's still a pretty fun place to hide. The Quadrant House is unlike any other house you might ever see, capable of something most homes could never dream – movement. And not in an RV kind of way. Three clients that commissioned Polish architect Robert Konieczny KWK Proms only had one request for their unique home. They wanted it to react to the movement of the sun. And after what I imagine must have been an incredibly difficult period of brainstorming, Proms came up with this odd-looking block-shaped structure that looks alarmingly unfinished. However, this is very much the finished product, which is just another example in a long list of things that make you say, wow, rich people really do have too much money, huh? The terrace outside moves with the sun, allowing for just the right amount of sunlight. So what about this place is zombie-proof? Well, it really comes down to whether the zombies in question are allergic to sunlight. So zombie vampires. Look, you can close the windows. What more do you really need? Number 2. Urban Vertical Forest If you've ever felt jealous of the birds and other animals that make their homes in the big, natural embrace of trees, well, this might be the ideal home for you. And unless zombies can climb, it's not a bad place to hide out. The vertical forest is actually a prototype for a whole new type of architecture that shifts the focus from humans to the relationship between humans and the other living beings on our planet. This home is designed for both humans and plant life. And that's pretty awesome. This first prototype can be found in Milan, Italy, and is made up of two towers that are 80 and 112 meters high respectively, housing 800 trees along the entire scale of the building. These houses are among the most environmentally friendly in the world, regulating humidity as well as producing oxygen and absorbing the toxic CO2 fumes that are causing so much pollution around the world. It's a pretty cool idea. The good news for anyone who wants to avoid becoming a zombie snack is that, as far as we know from the movies, zombies are just not good at climbing trees. So as long as nobody opens the front door or dangles you over the balcony, you're probably pretty safe in this one. Number 1. Mic Battery We try our best to adhere to the fundamental rules of human kindness here. Everybody likes what they like, and that's fine. 
If it's your lifelong dream to live inside an old anti-aircraft missile base, who am I to call you a raving lunatic with a death wish? If that is your dream, of course, you may well be aware of the Nike Battery, a former anti-aircraft missile base constructed back in 1958, during the early years of the Cold War. After it was decommissioned in the late 1970s, a family saw this former bomb hotspot as the perfect place to build their future home. Hence, we have this underground three-bedroom house with a patio, pool, and hot tub. Because even those living through a nuclear or zombie apocalypse like a little skinny dipping, am I right? Sadly, the asking price for this former bombsite is likely outside of your planned budget, coming in at a whopping $850,000. But I guess that's a reasonable price for you know, removing all the bombs and keeping the zombies out. Which of these houses would you most like to be in during a zombie apocalypse? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.